Soldiers returning home from a deployment encounter many difficulties. Among these difficulties is a pressing issue that many soldiers face called post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. As part of the demobilization process, the soldiers of the 45th Infantry Brigade Combat Team are briefed on their options for stress recovery through the Veterans Administration and Medical Branch. They are then examined and given a prognosis. The VA and medical have programs to help soldiers cope with PTSD as well as other stress-related issues. According to Katie Morris Henson, a medical readiness behavioral health case manager at Oklahoma Joint Force Headquarters, each program is tailored to fit each soldier's individual needs. Available. I try to make it what's going to be comfortable for that soldier. Where is their comfort level? Where, where is their interest? And find providers or interventions that meet what they're telling me they're open to. Some of these programs include group meetings, counseling, and meditation sessions. The Military and Family Life Consulting Program also offers pre-diagnosis non-medical aid in the form of confidential counseling and anger management programs. Justin Hoffman, Supervisory Health Analyst at the VA Health Eligibility Center, explains, quote, Service members returning from the theater of operations have only a very short time to complete all requirements during the demobilization process. There are also a few smartphone applications such as PTSD Coach, Breathe to Relax, and Reach Out that have been recently developed to provide immediate assistance to soldiers. Soldiers are presented all of these options and have the opportunity to seek aid during their short time at the demobilization site before they start their trip home. For the 145 MPAD, I'm Army PFC Alex Klein. Available. I try to make it what's going to be comfortable for that soldier. Where is their comfort level? Where, where is their interest? And find providers or interventions that meet what they're telling me they're open to. They have local veteran employer represent. That's thank you. Work for the state of Oklahoma for the Oklahoma Guard. That's that center block right there, okay? Johnston is who the NCYC is.